be. Why? Why don't you a question? No. <laughs> Should I wash my car? Yes. Because it's weird. Well, I have a power washer, and my neighbors also have a power washer, so I just think that if we all wash our cars with power washers, I just think that would be weird. You don't think it would be weird? It's not weird, and it's not Joe, so you have to go wash your car, I'm going to wash it. All right, I think I'm going to wash my car. You see, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's cleaning his car. No, I'm just saying he's cleaning his car. Babe, I don't care. I'm doing it. I shouldn't be a follower, right? It's Come outside, and I want to sit outside now. So, am I following her because I'm sitting outside because she just came outside? You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you should know how I feel, right? Yeah, I do know how you feel, but. Wait, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I have some devastating news. We are all going to die. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. I have got a revelation today. I, James Raw, am formerly are going to pass on the Yeezy 380 Blue Oats. These kicks are going to be released in a week or so and I just can't do it. I just can't buy these sneakers. Not that I don't like these sneakers because I think this colorway is fire. I love the brown overlays. I love that blue stripe, that just obnoxious blue stripe that's on the side of the sneaker. I think the color of the sneaker overall just looks amazing. But the way my bank account is set up, I can't do it right now. The reason why I'm not buying the Blue Oats is because I just made a purchase. I just actually made a Yeezy purchase today. I just bought the brand new Yeezy Barium basketball sneakers today. For resale, by the way. I just hate saying the word resale. Even though the resale on those sneakers is not actually that bad, it literally automatically disqualified me from getting the blue oats. I don't know if you guys have noticed, you know, with me filming in my basement, you know, I am not rich, so I just can't be throwing money around. I gotta be smart with my money. On top of me buying the Barriums today, I'm also planning on getting the Zion 350s as well, so, my July is actually booked as far as sneakers. If you guys are collecting Yeezys or collecting sneakers, you have to come to the realization. Wow, that was a big word. You have to come to the realization that you can't buy every sneaker that drops. That's something that I don't even attempt to do. The one beautiful thing about sneakers is that there's literally a drop every week. And that's like the number one thing when I have a devastating loss when it comes to like raffles or sneaker drops. Let's take for instance the Yeezy Azeal 700 V3s. I've had a huge L, sincerely from Yeezy Supply and Adidas with those sneakers and I was literally devastated. But the one thing that helped me get over that is that sneakers come out all the time. And that's like my rule of thumb when it comes to life. Especially if you're going through a really, really bad breakup, you're gonna have to just shake it off and just get back in the field, man, and try to find somebody else. You know what they say, man, you miss the bus, there's another one coming right behind it. And that's how I treat everything in life. And the last thing I want you guys to take from this is that you have to know your limits. I technically can cop the blue oats if I want to because, you know, <laughs> I'm a millionaire. I am a very successful reseller and I also have a million subscribers on YouTube. So getting the blue oats is no problem. But other than that, if I do wind up getting the blue oats, it's really going to hurt my pockets. And I don't think sneakers are even worth that. I got a mortgage to pay, I got a car note, I got four kids. It's just that I got a lot going on. And the thing that I like to do is that I like to evaluate sneaker releases by the month. So every single month I have like a sneaker bank. It's basically a bank of money that I have to afford with buying sneakers. So with me buying the Bariums today and me getting the Zions when they get released, my sneaker bank account will be zero. So overall, I just gotta be smart about where I'm spending my money. And it should never get to the point where you have to choose in between sneakers and bills. Sneakers are secondary. Overall, even though I love Yeezy culture, I love sneakers, at the end of the day, it is still a hobby. There goes the reasons why I'm passing on these beautiful sneakers. Oh my goodness, I'm just devastated. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments. Tell me what sneaker that you had to make the pass on. What sneakers that you had to give the curve to. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I see you guys when I see you. Peace.